All right. So we are solving this word problem, and we're going to read it, read the entire word problem to figure out who and what's involved in the problem, and also to figure out the question so that we can put the question into a complete sentence as an answer. All right. Fifty children attended the birthday party. After reading that sentence, I know that children are involved in this problem. So that's the who. Thirteen children left during the first hour. Still, this is about children. Nine children came in during the second hour. Still, this problem is about children. How many children were at the birthday party then? So this is about children at a birthday party. So I can just write children. There's the who. There is no what. It's not the children something. It's just simply children. So let me write children. Okay, once I've listed who and what's involved in the problem, then I'm going to write the answer to the question in a uh, complete sentence in an answer form. So I'm going to, this is the question right here, how many children were at the birthday party then? And I'll write that in a complete sentence on the bottom. There were blank children And then if I had some more space, I'd write at the birthday party. All right. So I've written the complete sentence. Now I'm going to read through each sentence and stop whenever I see a punctuation mark. That's going to tell me to make sense of the information I've read. All right. First sentence. Read the problem and chunk it. That means stopping when you see a punctuation mark. All right. 50 children attended the birthday party. Period. Stop. All right. I know that 50 children attended the birthday party. So I'm going to draw a bar for the children right here. And that will be a bar for the children. And I'll place a 50 right there. Actually, I need to do something again. I just got rid of something. OK. Uh, let's work this out. There were blank children. There we go. Okay, I forgot to do something. I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to erase this 50. Once you draw a bar, always draw its length. And from here to here represents 50. I'm going to put a 50 right up there. Okay, 50 children attended the birthday party. Have we taken care of that piece of information? Yes, so I put a check mark at the period. Continue reading where the check mark is. 13 children left during the first hour. Okay, now if 13 children left, does that mean that my number got bigger of children at the birthday party or my number got smaller? My number got smaller. If the number gets smaller, I'm moving to the left. So that means 13 is actually part of the 50. So right now I'm at 50, if you think about it in terms of the number line. And I'm going to go to the left of 50 for 13. So from here to here is 13. All right, I've taken care of that piece of information. Now it says, now I, I need to figure out what this is right here. From here to here. How am I going to figure that out? Well, I'm going to subtract 13 from 50. I mean, think about it. 50 minus 13. And that will tell me what this is right here. So that's my first number sentence I'm going to be writing. 50 minus 13. And when you do the work, it comes out to 37. So this is a question mark, and I put the answer back into the problem. 37. Okay, so that's 37. All right. Now what I'm going to do is create some more space here. All right. There were 50 children who attended the birthday party, 13 children left during the first hour. All right. 
As of now, we now have 37 children. That is this bar right here, from here to here. <clears throat> so, I'm going to redraw just this 37 right here, okay? And excuse me for not putting it right here. I just don't have enough space. I'm going to put it right here for now, okay? So from here to here is 37. That same 37 that's right there. Right there. So I'm just copying it again. All right. Now, every time that you have an empty um, part or an empty line segment, you're going to want to solve it within, with a number sentence. All right. Next, it says, reading this sentence, nine children came in during the second hour. Well, how many children do we have now? We have 37. If nine children came in, does that 37 get bigger or does that 37 get smaller? Well, that 37 gets bigger because we increase the amount of children. So I'm going to go to the right for 9, and I'm going to show my bar because from here to here now represents how many children I have. And because I now have increased the length of my bar, I'm now going to figure out what is that new length that I've just created. That is my question mark. Nine children came in during the second hour. I've shown that information right here as well as in the sentence, so I'll place a check mark right there. All right, to figure this out, I'm going to, I start at zero, I go to the right for 37, and I go to the right for nine more. So that means I'm going to be putting together both 37 and nine. So I'm adding my next number sentence. This is where the two-step um, word problems come in. It's 37 plus nine. And when you show the work off to the side, you will get it being equal to 46. And plug that, this number, 46, right where the question mark is. All right. Next, we continue reading. How many children were at the birthday party then? Well, then there were 46. And that seems to be the answer to my question that I wrote originally. So I will put in the answer. And there were 46 children. Now, let's just check. Does this make sense? 37 plus 9. 9 and 7 make 16. 16 plus 30 makes 46. And this is 46. The answer does make sense. Therefore, this answer to our question is there were 46 children. To solve these, you really have to uh, always figure out once something is missing, you're going to want to find it right away. And that's where these two-step word problems come into play. For more information, you can look at your notes, you can look at your bar models, or you can look at some future videos that will be posted here on Mouth of Mr. Almeida for more information. Hope you enjoyed and learned how to solve comparison um, not comparison, part whole word problems.